Chinese and the Russians are nearing our area of operations in the Western Pacific. We feel like this could get out of hand real fast. But the next couple of hours may just define his presidency. U.S. and Chinese task forces approaching 100 nautical miles of cruise missile range. Tell the strike group commander that he's not to engage unless fired on first. Yes, sir. Mr. Secretary. Tom Banachek. I'm with Sector 7, Advanced Research Division. Never heard of it. I'm a little busy, Tom. I think you can see that. Sidrin! Talk to me! The whole room's gone down, sir. I can see that! The virus was coded to shut us down. General! I'll take a seat. What do you mean, shut us down? Then used our network to spread out to the whole world. The blackout's global. We have no communication. Satellite and landlines are dead. You mean to tell me that I cannot pick up this telephone and call my family? Mr. Secretary, I'm here under direct order from the President. You really need to see what I have in the case. You'll have to accept that there are certain things you won't understand right away. Sector 7 is a special access division of the government, convened in secret under President Hoover 80 years ago. You may remember if NASA JPL lost the Beagle 2 Mars rover. We told him to report the mission a complete failure. It wasn't. Beagle 2 transmitted 13 seconds. This was classified above top secret. More than just a pile of Martian rocks. This is the image from Mars. Here's the image your special ops team was able to retrieve from the base attack. We believe they're of the same exoskeletal type and obviously not Russian or North Korean. Are we talking about an invasion? We intercepted the message from your special ops team. These things can be hurt by our weapons, and now they know it. That's why the virus shut us down, so we can't coordinate against their next attack, which I would bet my ridiculous government salary is coming soon. Get word to our fleet commanders over the National Guard frequency. It's a shortwave radio channel. It might be still working. Tell them to turn their ships around come home ASAP. And inform all commands to prepare for imminent attack. Captain Lennox, we need you and your team to come with us right now. Let's go. She's in here. What's going on? You're coming with me. You're going to be my advisor. Me too. Who's this? He's my advisor. He comes too. So? What did they get you for? Uh, I bought a car. Turned out to be an alien robot. Who knew? Glasses indicates the AllSpark is 230 miles from here. I sense the Decepticons are getting ready to mobilize. They must know it's here as well. What about Bumblebee? 
We can't just leave him to die and become some human experiment. He'll die in vain if we don't accomplish our mission. Bumblebee is a brave soldier. This is what he would want. Why are we fighting to save the humans? They're a primitive and violent race. Were we so different? They're a young species. They have much to learn. But I've seen goodness in them. Freedom is the right of all sentient beings. You all know there's only one way to end this war. We must destroy the cube. If all else fails, I will unite it with the spark in my chest. That's suicide. The cube is raw power. It could destroy you both. A necessary sacrifice to bring peace to this planet. We cannot let the humans pay for our mistakes. It's been an honor serving with you all. Autobots, roll out! We roll! Team attention! Present arms! At ease. Captain, Sergeant. Got your intel. Excellent work. Thank you, sir. What about the gunships? They're being retrofitted with saber rounds now. If they hit us again, we'll be ready for them. But it uh, won't do us much good if we can't get world communications back up. Hey, kid. I think we got off to a bad start, huh? You must be hungry. You want a latte, ho-ho, double venti macchiato? Where's my car? I need you to listen to me very carefully. People can die here. We need to know everything you know. We need to know it now. Really? Where does it say that? Okay. But first, I'll take my car, my parents. Maybe you should write that down. Oh, and her juvie record. That's got to be gone. Like, forever. Oh my. Oh no, oh no. <laughs> Come with me. We'll talk about your call. Thank you. Man's an extortionist. All right, here's the situation. You've all had direct contact with the NBEs. NBEs? Non-biological extraterrestrials. Try and keep up with the acronyms. What you're about to see is totally classified. Dear God, what is this? We think when he made his approach over the North Pole, our gravitational field screwed up his telemetry crashed in the ice probably a few thousand years ago. We shipped him here to this facility in 1934. Call him NBE-1. Well, sir, I don't mean to correct you on everything you think you know, but I mean, that's Megatron. He's the leader of the Decepticons. He's been in cryostasis since 1935. Your great-great-grandfather made one of the greatest discoveries in the history of mankind. Oh! Fact is, you're looking at the source of the modern age. Microchip, lasers, space flight cars, all reverse engineered by studying him. Really? NBE-1. That's what we call it. And you didn't think the United States military might need to know that you're keeping a hostile alien robot frozen in the basement? Until these events, we had no credible threat to national security. Well, you got one now. So why Earth? It's the all spark. All spark? What is that? Well, yeah, they came here looking for some sort of cube-looking thing. Anyway, Mr. NBE-1 here, a.k.a. Megatron, that's what they call him, is pretty much the harbinger of death, wants to use the cube to transform human technology to take over the universe. That's their plan. Are you sure about that? Yeah. 
You guys know where it is, don't you? Follow me. We're about to see our crown jewel. Just don't know it yet. Say, who are you? Nick Fury, director of S.H.I.E.L.D. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh! I'm here to talk to you about the... Carbon dating puts the cube here around 10,000 B.C. The first seven didn't find it until 1913. They knew it was alien because of the matching hieroglyphics on the cube as well as in B1. Four football fields thick of concrete, a perfect way to hide its energy from being detected by anyone or any alien species on the outside.